information technology has been one of the leading drivers of globalization. Namaste. Welcome to the channel Knowledge Star. My name is Karuna Singh. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Anandi Giri. Currently, she is Associate Professor in the University of the People, California, United States. Welcome. Good evening. So, tell our viewers something about yourself. I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, see, I'm uh, almost uh, 20 years experienced with different universities uh, all over the world, as well as in India. So I have uh, a vast experience in teaching and basically I'm MCA MPhil with PhD in computer science. And uh, I have a very uh, keen interest in writing research papers. So far I have published 40 research papers and also I have written a book on computer networks. And I have been the editorial board member for five to six international journals. One amongst those journals is STM journal. Of course, it is a very prominent and uh, a very good journal, which I have experienced. Again, in that journal, I am into different uh, specialized journals in that arena. So I have a very good exposure and very good uh, cooperation with them. So it has been a long lasting you know, uh, interaction with them. So I'm uh, really proud to be associated with them for a long time. And uh, apart from that, I also uh, prepare, you know, question papers for different universities in Australia, India, etc. And also I have uh, uh, the expertise of being the placement and training coordinator in one of my colleges where I worked. So I think uh, that's it about me, nothing more to elaborate. As you belong to the computer field, so it is very, very important to know that what exactly IT or information technology is and what are the career opportunities? Yeah, IT is actually a very broad area. In short, if we want to describe IT, IT is nothing but it is the usage of computers in order to create, retrieve, to store and also to clean up any uh, data and then give the data in a very prominent and a proper shapeful way. So that is about IT. Nowadays, uh, the job opportunities, the career opportunities in IT is really very vast and people are really interested to move into that uh, IT field. So we have a very good uh, IT opportunities in different arena. So nowadays uh, we have uh, AI. So there is a very good scope for AI, AI specialists and cybersecurity again, that has been really booming up. Hence, uh, you know, in... Uh, Cybersecurity, we have got different job opportunities. So there are uh, earlier there were very scarce opportunities and actually uh, people wanted very good expertise in that. Nowadays, even with the proper professional or uh, a certificate course also, if one is keen enough to really study and absorb the technologies, they can really you know get well-versed and get a very good job. And again, entering into the job, they can have hands-on experience and they can really become very popular. So getting a job is very, very easy nowadays in IT, provided you have that skill set. So what are the latest advancements in this? Now, coming for the advancements, uh, basically in IT, there are many fields which are, uh, as I told you earlier, which are really booming up. So the latest advancements when you uh, say one is you might have heard about machine learning, which is uh, really an area about statistics. Earlier in statistics, what we do is we used to calculate everything and there will be a numerical methodology through which with pen and paper we used to do it. But now with machine learning and data science, all the data has been already stored up and those stored up data will be taken up. And from the computer, they can do it if they have certain softwares. See, when you take machine learning and data science, which really helps out for the statistical data collection. So what you do is the all the calculations of the statistical data will be done with the help of these two uh, 
technologies provided they should have a programming language for that so both for machine learning as well as for data science python is the one which supports or if one is not familiar with python they can go with r studio but rather than r studio normally python is very very easy and user friendly programming language which really supports the statistical data analysis with the help of machine learning and data science these two are the booming areas and apart from that i think everybody will be familiar with ai artificial intelligence so this is also one other supporting area of machine learning and data science provided there is a difference because in machine learning and data science it is totally statistical based whereas in artificial intelligence you have something which is more you know machine based even nowadays all the electronic equipments are more modernized more digitized so the digital technology has really you know entered into that so ai is one among the field so according to me machine learning data science artificial intelligence and one other field which is very prominent is cyber security because one has to really safeguard their system in order to really safeguard their system their personal system on the basis of day to day activities one has to know at least the basics of cyber security because everybody nowadays have got antivirus so antivirus software is one protection software which really makes our system you know risk free so hence cyber security is one important area one has to really focus on and at least know the basic knowledge about it so these four are the latest advanced technologies that is really booming up okay we have heard about the robotic process automation so what are the career opportunities in this and what is the use of this yeah robotic process automation is nothing but it is basically the uh, machines are made to work so we have learned about robots robots were uh, earlier we used to watch in the movie and serials and all that which is more you know digitized and mechanized but nowadays robots are doing all the sort of work see even in us robots are able to really do the surgery instead of a doctor and nowadays even artificial robots are created in the place of a professor we don't have any you know uh, physical professor who is teaching the classes nowadays even robots are uh, cloned as the professor and they basically do this exactly. so with machines with robots everything is possible not only uh, in the medical field not only in the field of education even in agricultural area you know the sowing of seeds finding out the soil quality and what seeds have to be sown in which season and when is the harvesting season and how the plowing and other machines are working so all this the growth of the plants everything is really monitored with the help of robotic technology which is again a combination of ai and iot technologies basically absolutely absolutely so uh, what do you think a student should opt this field of course robotics is one of the you know growing fields and it will be keeping on growing and that is one of the area where students can get more job opportunities but comparatively as i told ai is more than robotics ai is really you know growing like anything so ai has got more scope in the job opportunity as far as career is concerned when compared to robotics so ai is more prominent apart from this data science machine learning ai cyber security and you asked about robotics indeed out of all this these are all very familiar fields apart from this there are also some other you know booming technologies which are not the areas i'm just talking about two three individual technologies which were growing up so one is about the covid variant tracking so this has uh, really you know had a very uh, long growth during this covid season new variants of the covid has been now found out with the help of this covid variant tracking technology wherein you know we have alpha beta so many you know variants of covid which are coming up so as and when the new variant arises people are really able to find out this with the help of covid variant tracking that is one new technology which is booming up and the second technology is about ai for protein folding so people will not be aware of this so ai for protein folding all right so this is actually you have got alpha fold 2 that is the new protein folding which has been found out for ai this is 
designed basically to find out new drugs for diseases especially if there is a if uh, you know deficiency in proteins and all this is one of the uh, technology through which you can find out what is the deficiency and what is the disease which will be coming up with that and new drugs are found out with the help of this ai for protein folding which is called as alpha fold 2 that is one other technology and there is one other technology called as aging clocks aging clocks is basically a dna marker with the help of the dna cells this is actually biology based which is mingled with the help of you know ai technology basically so aging clocks are used for dna markers so they can find out the dna cells from the body of the person and they can find out after certain age how would they look like and what would be the prominent you know skin diseases or some other disease which will be coming for them so that could be predicted well in advance so that is one of the technology and nowadays what not even psychology is included in ai once you say see uh, psycho em emotional you know feelings and all that could be really found out with the help of ai technology that is one of the technology which is combining psychology with the help of you know it so it is really you know interfering in all the areas i could say in short i think this is the future yeah this is the future you showed us so i think this is the future yeah yeah i have talked about the advancements currently i have told about the future as well before i end up that's why i told about this three four technologies absolutely thank you so much thanks a lot dr anandi for this uh educative and wonderful interaction and we really really look forward for more interactions with you soon now for more informative and uh educative videos subscribe to the channel not star hit the bell icon as well to never miss an update and please do comment so that we will definitely reach you out thank you thank you thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity and it is my pleasure and my pride to really share all this with the viewers thank you so much i hope you like this video to subscribe the computer journals visit shop.stmjournals.com for any training program project training dissertation internships and training related to science and technology visit the website nanoschool.in and for more such informative and educative videos subscribe to the channel knowledge star and press the bell icon to never miss an update thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected